Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystal. So today's video is gonna be an unboxing of the Nespresso Virtuo Next, which is the new Virtuo machine that Nespresso have released. I've just purchased this as an upgrade from my usual Virtuo machine, which is just this um, Nespresso Virtuo Plus machine. Um, and I will be doing a comparison between the two machines in a separate video, so if you wanna see that, definitely subscribe and stick around to see that video. So I'm gonna unbox this this today I'm also going to show you how to pair this up via Bluetooth to your phone to do updates and stuff and then I'm going to run an update before I start using the machine just to make sure um, there's no updates required and stuff so straight away I can see with this machine the box is made out of what appears to be like a recycled cardboard and it seems that with this edition of the virtual machines they've started really thinking a little bit more about the sort of sustainability and um, things around their machines and the things that they are selling. So they've always done, as far as I know, they've always done the recycling of the capsules, um, but now it's saying that the machine's been made of 54% recycled plastic. It shuts off after two minutes, which is much faster than the other virtual machine switch off time. And yeah, it just goes into a little bit of detail here about how much um, of the materials are recycled and whatnot. So this 100% recyclable, I assume, we can just recycle the whole box. Anyway, if you're still with me at this point, let's get everything out of the box. I'm gonna show you everything that came in here. And then, like I said, we'll do the Bluetooth pairing as well. And we'll make a drink, of course, because I will need a coffee by the end of this. So, dead easy to open. We just flip those two down and lift up the lid. And then it just pulls down like this, very much like when I unboxed um, the Nespresso Creators to Pro, which I've done a video on if you want to see that. So we've got the instruction manual, as you would expect. There is the little cup tray. Here, of course, is the machine itself. So I've gone for the grey version. And this you can just put in place at different levels depending on what kind of cup size you're going to be dispensing. So there's a little water tank here at the back. ever so slightly confused they normally come with um, some capsules to try and for some reason there isn't any in this box so I'm not sure what's happened there um, I've been through the box definitely none of them there very strange when I said the Nespresso Virtuo next machine was missing two items these are the two items I actually emailed Nespresso and within a couple of hours of sending the email somebody called me and then within 24 hours these showed up on the doorstep and these are the two items I was missing so in terms of customer service I absolutely cannot fault them they have made it right and very quickly so all this is it's um, just a little booklet that sort of introduces you to Virtuo and to Nespresso gives you various offers you can take advantage of on um, your first orders and things like that and it tells you about all of the different coffee options that they currently have in um, in virtuo size and just has some other bits and pieces about recycling and stuff so if you are new to Nespresso it's nice to have that in the package and then you can have a look at it all and then this is the box of capsules now Let's get this open up and show you what which what is in this particular pack. Now, even though I have been drinking Nespresso coffee for seven years and since Virtuo came out, I also drink the um, original line. I love to get this in my box because it just sort of refreshes my memory as to which coffees I particularly like. And they always tend to be bringing out new ones and things. So there's always a chance there's some in here you haven't tried or haven't tried for a while. So I just like the selection. I wish they sold a bit of a selection box so that you could try lots of different ones a few times. Because sometimes you don't want to buy a box of 10 to find actually I don't like that one. So yeah, so there's like a range of sizes and stuff in here as well. So these are the smaller ones. So in here we get the Diavolito, I believe it is. And that is a Strength 11 Espresso. We also get an Altissio, which is another Espresso, Strength number nine. We get Voltesso, another Espresso, Strength number four. Then we are into our 
um, barista creations. So this is Bianca Legero and this is an 80 ml coffee and it's designed to be drank with milk. Then this one is Fortado and this one is strength number eight, Gran Lungo, 150 ml of coffee. Then you get double espresso Chiro, which is strength number six and it's one of the double espressos 80 ml size coffees. This one, oh, <laughs> this one is Bianco Forto. 40 Bianco Forte. It's another Brister Creations and it is a 230ml size but again designed to be drink, drank with milk so it would make a great latte or something that has a lot of milk in. Then we've got Stormio and Stormio is one of the coffee mug size 230ml coffees in a strength number 8. Melosio 230ml, one of my favourite from the range in fact, strength number 6, coffee mug size. Then we have got Columbia which is one of the master origins, it's 230ml, strength number 5. There is a decaf in here and this is decaffeinito, again mug size 230ml, strength number 6. Finally we have got Alto Dolce. Now Alto Dolce is one of the largest capsules that they make. It is a strength number four. They do two um, in this size. They do the Alto Dolce, which is strength four, and the Alto Intenso, which is strength seven. So this is 414 mils. I don't even have a cup big enough to dispense this in. I generally dispense it into a cup and then the rest into like a milk jug and just top up my coffee as I'm going. So it's not generally one that I um, repurchase because I just think it's too big. The taste is nice, but the coffee is just crazy size for me personally. Some people might absolutely love it. Um, but that's everything that comes in the little selection box. That is as of May 2020, and they tend to keep the kits similar for a while anyway. I should also mention your little capsule holder is this thing at the side. That's what it looks like. Um, so it, this bit comes out, I think, to clean. Yeah, it slides out like that so that you can give it a clean. And just slides back in like that. And then you just, to pull it out, it's got a little lip here on the top. You just put your finger in and pull it down like that. Anyway, let's try out the connectivity with the mobile phone. Okay, so this is me trying to connect to Bluetooth via my mobile phone. It was a complete and utter nightmare. I must have tried this 16 different times. I know because I counted it and it didn't seem to matter what I did. It just would not pair at all. So I actually ended up going grabbing an iPad that was nearby me and just using that to see how that would work. Okay, so we're going to start by launching the Nespresso app on your device and clicking this little machine icon up there. This will then take you to the next page I'm going to show you, which you will use for the pairing. Okay, so we're going to try the Bluetooth pairing. Now, the reason why I'm using this rather old dishevelled iPad is because it is not playing well with my phone, so I'm going to try it with the app on the iPad. So, make sure your machine is open. Make sure you press and hold the button on the top. Plug in the machine click pair with this machine. So it never did this. When I tried to do this on my phone, it would not do anything. It just kept saying it couldn't find it. I need to switch my Bluetooth on and it, oh my gosh. Yes, it is. Let's try again. So when you press it, it should go white if the Bluetooth is working in the machine and it is going white. So hopefully it will find it. I'm going to try and practically put it inside it and see if that helps. Ah, oh, found it. You have no idea. Hurrah, how difficult this was. So it likes to pair. Let's pair. Oh my gosh. So if this doesn't work for you, it's not you. It is absolutely your device. Because for some reason, and bear it in mind, I'm using an iPhone 11 Pro, one of the latest phones out there. It would not connect no matter what I did. Anyway, now it's connected. So then we click continue and it's connecting it to the Wi-Fi network, hopefully. It also says, of course, to make sure that you have, oh gosh, I've got to put my Wi-Fi password in, standby. Okay, so now I'm showing you a picture. The connection was eventually successful after many attempts. I'm not really sure why this process is so difficult.
and this is then a picture that you can see in your account and it just tells you that the Wi-Fi status is connected. And then after all that, there wasn't actually any updates to do, but once you click onto your machine, you can then see all these different little bits of information. So let's finally, after all that, let's start a coffee because I feel like I need one after that demo. So I'm going to put a cup, obviously on the cup rest, always a good idea when you're preparing coffee. And I think I'm going to have a Malozio, which is this one. Probably one of my favourites. So you pop it in like that with the dome facing down and then we just push this down and slide it there to the left until it's locked in place. Press the button once and it dispenses your coffee. And then to release the capsule, you just turn it back to unlock, lift it up, and it just slides down that little slide and into the capsule container. And here is the coffee. Now it's been made, looks good. Tastes good as well. It's got a nice temperature to it too. And at the moment, they're actually doing a promotion where if you buy the machine and the machine resells at £150, you get £50-odd worth of coffee for free. It's just like a promotion that they are running. So you get all of these included for free. There's 10 in each box. There's Altissio, Double Espresso Scuro, Arangio, Columbia, Columbia, sorry, Stormio, Furtado, Melozio, which is one I just made, Bianco Forte, which is supposed to be good with milk, Hazelino, which is the hazelnut flavoured one, and Decaffeinito, all different sizes. And in my next video where I compare this machine with the other Nespresso Virtual machine, then I will go into a bit more detail about the different cup sizes and um, a little bit more information about that. So definitely hit that subscribe button and let me know what other Nespresso videos you'd like to see. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.